time to hit the gym. Crazy dog, crazy dog. I'm filming this clip to explain some more of this video. I've been getting a lot of questions on like, how are your biceps so big? How are your arms so big? What do you do? What's your, what's your routine? What's your arm day look like? <clears throat> and here's the truth. I'm gonna lay it all out on the line just for you guys, okay? The number one thing is my background. I was a gymnast for over 20 years. So I started training gymnastics when I was like five years old, right? So from five to 26, I was doing gymnastics. Now, there's a lot of things that play into this is genetics and training and food and everything like that, right? Now, it's hard to explain because everybody thinks it's a specific routine that I do or exactly what I eat or this or that. Guys, it's everything combined. Like I said, I was a gymnast for over 20 years, so I think the the training that we do as a gymnast is so strenuous on certain parts of our muscles and genetically I'm so strong in my arms that I use those more than I would use anything else. So I've overdeveloped my arms through the years of training of gymnastics but my chest is underdeveloped because my arms were so much stronger I was always constantly using those muscles to save myself in certain skills. Now I hope that makes sense to you guys who don't do gymnastics or don't watch gymnastics but Basically, I would use my arms a lot more and certain things because I just my body knew they were stronger So that's what I would use and I believe from the years of training and using my arms to help save myself on certain skills It just they grew and grew and grew and grew right so more than something So for example my chest not very strong something I wasn't very strong in for certain skills using my chest muscles was very hard so over the years 20 years of training and using more of my arms probably helped build my arms a lot more than most of my other parts of my body. Now on top of that, I was eating very healthy through the whole entire time of training gymnastics, so my nutrition was pretty on point. I was keeping my protein intake pretty high. Now I wouldn't do a lot of carbs, I would do good amounts on certain days, but I was keeping everything pretty level so I wasn't gaining too much size because as gymnasts we want to stay light and small, right? So, so I just wanted to explain that there is no specific arm routine right now you can always train them a lot more so if you're trying to grow a certain muscle group you're going to want to train them more more intense switch everything up do high weight do low weight high rep low rep switch it all up do different kinds of training always surprising the muscle and just it is it's gonna help right but there's not one specific thing to do for everybody and not everybody can get arms the size of my arms or not every not I can't get the size of a chest that I like this. You know, someone's chest muscles over here are huge and awesome, but I may not be able to get that. Genetically, everybody is different. So that is something I wanted to explain that it's, I'm not just doing certain things that help my arms. I actually only train arms probably just once a week for the most, most of the part. And there's actually been a few times where I would only do arms once every two weeks because I'm trying to build up, I'm trying to build up my chest and my back and other things in my body that are lacking so everything's a little more proportionate and equally as strong as my arms, right? I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys like that arm workout. I did three sets of everything with drop sets. Just keep watching, just keep learning, and just keep improving. Solid arm workout today at the gym. I did a little cardio after as well, usually on arm days. Since it's not a huge muscle group, I usually do a little bit of cardio just to burn a few more calories. But we're back home, got to make some food. You guys probably know what we're gonna have. So we're cooking breakfast. So when I was at the gym, I could tell some of the dudes around there were kind of like 
weirded out or weren't sure what we were doing because we were recording. I have someone who is helping me record, my buddy Victor, and they're kind of like not sure about it, you know, and my wife knows one of them and they're kind of saying like how they think it's just a little weird and blah, 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 blah. Well, I think it's cool because we have thousands of people who watch my videos every month, all of you guys, and you guys make that possible. So I don't really care what they think. I care about making content for you guys, making you guys enjoy it and keeping you guys involved and want to thank you guys for supporting me. So just wanted to relay the message that if you guys are in a situation where some people may think it's stupid, but you enjoy it and you like it and you like what you're doing and you're helping others and you're doing something good, keep it up because the positive people are gonna be moving forward all the time. And the negative ones can be back there, not really working as hard and enjoying whatever they want to do. So keep it positive guys. Military kept the I just walked these guys. I can safely say walk because they've already gone. About to make a quick snack, some oatmeal. I'm not uh, super full from breakfast, so I figured I'd get in some quick carbs, especially post-workout. Before I head to the gym, I'm gonna have another meal, and then I usually have a meal at the gym when I go to work, basically, so um, this will be kind of just a quick snack. Gonna do oatmeal, and maybe a little bit of granola in there, since this is just plain, regular oatmeal, it's not flavored. Um, I'll put some granola in there to add a little flavor. So here's what's going on. I've been on the phone pretty much all morning because we're selling our house in Oklahoma and there's just been some stuff with the roof. Basically roofs in Oklahoma get torn up because of all the storms. So we're trying to get all that figured out. I've been on the phone with insurance, with trying to figure out who is a manufacturer because a builder didn't know and just like all this crazy, crazy stuff. So it's been nuts. But I'm already, I'm gonna go help at the Reno location, the Reno gym that we have. We have to go do some maintenance work. So I'm gonna go help my dad there, get that stuff done, and, and hopefully not be on the phone anymore because I've been on the phone for the last like three hours. made it here so my dad and I went to the second gym got some maintenance stuff done now I'm here at the other gym in Sparks getting some more work done sending emails getting things ready for competition season just doing a lot of organization stuff so it's going good but busy day at work so it's a lot of fun got to ride the motorcycle never I actually don't remember the at the last time I think I rode my motorcycle with my dad was when I came down to visit from college I rode with him that time and now that I'm here, I have my bike, he's got his bike, so it's pretty fun. We got to ride together. Ride together. We haven't been able to do that in forever. So even though we just rode to the gym to go do some maintenance work, it was still pretty fun. So looking forward to more fun rides like that. Protein, because I didn't bring a meal. My dad and I got lunch, and I didn't know how long I was gonna stay here. So bad move on my part by not bringing lunch, but I keep protein here, so re-caged it is. All right, knocked almost everything out. I'm gonna go home, finish a few more emails, and then I'm gonna watch the Cubs because they play again tonight. Let's go Cubs. So I've got my dinner, which looks awesome, I might have to say. We've got jasmine rice and some stir fry, which is chicken and a bunch of veggies. I put some soy sauce on top of that, and we're gonna watch the Cubs game. Go Cubs, go. They're losing 4-1. Seventh inning, we're hoping we'll win. But we're packing up because we're going on a hike tomorrow. We're gonna hike Mount Rose and it's gonna be awesome. So make sure you're following me on social media so you can get the pictures and follow along because I'm not recording it. So make sure you guys follow along. So thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.